So yesterday, the Arizona Cardinals announced their captains for the 2021 season, and let me tell you, there's a lot of them. Typically, NFL teams pick around six people to serve as their captains, but Arizona's taken things to the max the past two seasons. Because in 2019, we only had five total captains, but last year we had eight, and this year we have nine. Many of the captains from last year remain captains this year, but there were some big losses this offseason, and I'm going to go over some of them. So last year, our captains were Kyler Murray, Chandler Jones, DJ Humphreys, Patrick Peterson, Jordan Hicks, Larry Fitzgerald, Dennis Gardick, and Corey Peters. Only three of those players aren't captains this year, and those players are Corey Peters, Patrick Peterson, and obviously Larry Fitzgerald. Corey Peters is the only one of those three that is still on the roster this season, as we recently signed him back to a one-year contract, but Patrick Peterson is now with the Minnesota Vikings this season, and Larry Fitzgerald is basically retired. Not officially, but you know what I mean. Obviously, missing the leadership of Patrick Peterson and Larry Fitzgerald is going to be tough, but when I read these captains off that we have right now, we're going to be just fine. This year, the Cardinals elected nine team captains, and here they are. We have Kyler Murray, DJ Humphreys, Rodney Hudson, DeAndre Hopkins, Buda Baker, Jordan Hicks, JJ Watt, Chandler Jones, and last but not least, Dennis Gardick. When you look at it, none of these are really surprising, and it goes to show that we have a ton of leaders on this team. Five of these players were captains last year, and rightfully so, they got re-elected, and those players are Kyler Murray, Chandler Jones, DJ Humphreys, Jordan Hicks, and Dennis Gardick. And I've seen a lot of comments about how Jordan Hicks should not be a captain on this team, but the fact that he was told he doesn't have a chance to start this year, he still put his head down, continued to work, and now he's a captain on this team. Obviously, he's doing something right, and it just shows how respected he is within the team and the coaching staff. I really like our captains this year, but one thing that just looks super weird to me is not seeing Larry Fitzgerald on that list. I know we mentioned it earlier, but I guess it just really hasn't hit me until now. This is the first time since 2004 that Larry Fitzgerald will not be on a Cardinals roster for week one. And I'm not going to lie, that makes me pretty sad. But if Fitz does come back, I'm assuming he'll get a captain patch right away. But for now, this is what we're rocking with. I honestly have no complaints, but let me know what you guys think about it down in the comment section below. Do you think anybody else should have been a captain or do you think they hit it right on the head? Make sure to let me know what you guys think. And also, if you guys are new to the channel and enjoyed today's video, consider hitting that subscribe button. I post NFL and NBA content, so if you're a fan of either of those or both of those, this is the perfect channel for you. And I also started a gaming channel, and I'm going to be streaming 2K heavily, and I'm going to be posting 2K content like crazy. So if you're interested in seeing more streams and videos by me, go check out my second channel. But like I said, that's all I got for today's video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. It's been your boy Mythic. Peace out.